we thank God for another day for a lot of families they've experienced loss in course of the year 2021 and by the grace of God if we are still here and healthy we can only give thanks to God certainly, certainly. yes yeah, so the, the the Christmas holiday period for a lot of people is for thanksgiving and reflections. What are your thoughts on this? Well, I think that it's a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful song, very inspiring for this period of the year. And of course, Steve Betty is my very good friend, so it's actually fantastic to see him here with uh, Kwabna Kwabna on this particular track. And of course, you do know that we've had this uh, pandemic and uh, it's actually claimed a lot of lives in his own right. And so certainly a time to give thanks and to be thankful that some of us made this, but certainly enormous sadness too for those who are sick, those who are unwell. And I believe that when I listened to former President Mahama a few days ago, when he shared his thoughts about Christmas with the good people of Ghana, he asked all of us to go out there and take the vaccine, to wear our masks, to social distance, to wash our hands, at least observe all the protocols and just as much as possible to keep yourself safe. And I'm sure, Fati, you are the information ministry, you've picked up that a lot of our doctors actually have all been self-isolating because the uh, COVID has broken out in quite a number of hospitals, Kolebu, where my younger sister works, she's had to leave her one-year-old daughter and stay away from her for nearly a week. And I hear the same has happened at the Konfanochi Teaching Hospital as well. So yes, as we go about our celebrations and uh, all the festivities, I'm sure that it's actually our responsibility to continue to caution one another, to be very careful in how we interact, especially with the social activities. I have only now realized that the scientists were spot on when they said that it's actually the movement that mm -hmm. causes all of these uh, mm -hmm. things to happen. So certainly a time for enormous reflection, a time for deep gratitude and appreciation to God, but above all, also a time for us to continue to express caution. And I hope that as we go along, we will continue to educate everybody and uh, ask them to observe all the safety protocols. That's beautiful. Um, as uh, Joyce mentioned, please, we have the vaccines in, ab in abundance. The Ghana Health Service Director General Patrick, uh, Dr. Patrick Kumar Boaje declared December as the COVID-19 vaccination month. Uh, please go and get the job. That's the only way to assist our health professionals reduce the load and also keep all of us safe. We have a very tall order this morning. Uh, it, we will start with Samis Bite, and afterwards we'll go for a very beautiful performance by Asantua. Then we'll have an engagement with Dr. Agiba Omane on the effects of alcohol on the body and then an exclusive with the talented Akobwa. Uh, not forgetting the fact that uh, Joyce and Sami will be sharing their talents with you this morning. Oh, you're joking. <laughs> so I can't wait for that segment. So let's go to Sami for Sami's Bites. So, the United Nations variously has described it as a public health concern and again has described it as a neglected pandemic. From January to September, we've lost over 2,000 plus of human lives to road transport crashes. Out of this figure, 70% are males just this year, from January to September. 2,000 plus lives lost through road accidents. 
and 70% were males. Again, 60% of this figure aged between 18 and 55. If these videos and footages doesn't look scary enough, I'm not too sure what can scare you. We take things for granted on the road. People driving under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Someone leaving home and saying, I'm just grabbing something and I'll be right back. Leaving wives and children. Make no mistake, at your funeral, people will make promises. We'll take care of your kids for you. Fast forward three months down the line, your kids will contact these people and they will tell you, my bread, I also have my own headache. The recklessness on our roads and the bravado. Let me put it in simple terms. We are losing lives on a daily basis. It would be unfair to make any comparison between that and COVID-19. For COVID-19 has its own economic and social impact. But road accident cannot continue to be a neglected pandemic. According to the World Bank report in 2019, 1.3 million people lose their lives annually. 1.3 million people through road accidents. 50 million people are seriously injured every year through road accidents, either through cycling, walking, driving. Again, people, millions of people are also left permanently disabled. It is always better to arrive late than to be the late and being posted around the country. Sometimes, excuse me for my words, that moment of indiscretion and moment of madness, that breach of common sense on the road, flagrant disregard of road traffic regulations, have left many people orphans. I think it's a time for us to pause and reflect. You know someone we might have lost through road accident. You know a father or a daughter. You know a mother or a niece or nephew. And when we have these kids left, we have these families who continuously every year will have to mark the anniversary of a loved one because of the indiscretion of a driver or the recklessness of someone who should have known better on the road. Close down the blue kiosk at our lorry parks. If you drink, don't drive. And if you are driving, don't drink. We've had our fair share of experiences of reckless driving. But to the guys, the figures should scare you. They should scare you. Out of those who have passed on from January to September 2021, out of the 2,200 plus, over 1,700 of them were males meaning the women are quite careful on the road. Let's not confuse ourselves, guys. You were lucky yesterday with that reckless driving you pulled off. You might not be lucky today. I don't think that it will be fair to your family and your loved ones for you to depart knowing very well that they will live in an uncertain world and an uncertain future. Let's be wise on the road. Road traffic accident is real. And sometimes what hurts most is you will be careful on the road, but the oncoming vehicle might either be WhatsApping, 
doing Instagram, snapping, and will put your life in danger. A time comes when sacrifices must be born in the supreme interest of humanity. And this morning I prick your conscience. We are losing too many lives on the road. The statistics are scary. If you check, the figures should tell you something. Greater Accra, Ashanti region, Eastern region, Central region, Western region, Volta, Northern region. I think there are three notorious regions when it comes to these road traffic offenses. My goodness. Greater Accra, Ashanti, Eastern. For how long? Should we continue to record such high figures and leaving many families on their knees? According to the statistics released by the service, the major accident hotspots are on Bupe Tamale Road. Then you have Achim Asafo Road, another hotspot. Between the Accra Tema Motorway, when you have good roads, we are losing lives. When we have bad roads, we are losing lives. And sometimes it doubts even our piety as a people and our commitment to even observe these regulations. The Borga Navrongo Road, I know so well, as well as the Chichori and Mankasim stretch. From 2015 to 2020, the fatalities alone in 2015, you had 1,802 people, reported cases, people losing their lives through road accident. In 2016, 2,284 people lost their lives. In 2017, who we were lucky, came down a bit to 1,823. Then in 2018, you have 2,020 people losing their lives through road accident. In 2019, we had an increase. 2,284 people died in 2019 through road accident. And in 2020, 2,589. Just January to September 2021, we've, so far we've lost over 2,200 lives on our roads. Yet to get the figures for October, yet to get the figures for November and the almighty December. So, guys, families out there, road safety starts with you. Exercise good judgment on our roads. Many families are grieving. Please, and I will conclude by saying, it's better to arrive late at that event than to be the late. Thank you. We'll be right back. <laughs>